So let's have a little look at this circuit building online. Okay. On your task uh, sheet, you can see that you've got your ordering of what you um, of your appliances that you need to put into order of their use of watts. And then at task two, you can see this one here. The link is also on the daily task sheet. Okay. And all you would do is you click on this link. And it does work on um, iPads and tablets. Uh, I had a little check last night and it will open up uh, this website. Now, this website is a circuit simulation. OK, now you could choose intro or lab. It's not too dissimilar for either one. Intro is probably just a little bit easier to, to use. OK, and you can see I have got my blank screen. OK, I can zoom in and out if I need to. Um, and you're basically going to start to build a circuit. Now, all you could do is you drag them and you drop them in. There you go. You've got my wire and I can move it around. If you want to break the circuit, OK, because you don't want them connected, you click and press the scissors and it'll break it apart for you. OK, again, you can drag them back over there like scratch to get rid of them. So if you have a little look here, OK, your first task is to build a simple circuit with one bulb and one battery. What happens to the bulb? So all you would do is you would pull in your battery wire on this side, wire on this side, and your light bulb, and then you can connect them up. Obviously, I'm not going to connect them because I want you to be able to do that, okay, and build a simple circuit. Now then, if you look at the next one, it starts to ask you if you were to add another battery, predict what will happen. Please read each one, complete that question, and then move to the next one, okay, because some of them are about predicting. Now, question four asks you to increase the voltage on a battery. Now, to increase the voltage on a battery, all you do is you click on it, and at the bottom, you can see the voltage, and you can raise and lower the voltage. Okay, That is as simple as this program is. Now, you can see it as a circuit if you prefer to see it as a circuit. Okay, or You can see the pictures there. And if you click the down arrows, you can see there's different items there for you to pull in as well. Now, at the very bottom, okay, the open-ended experiment you can basically use this program to experiment and investigate just making some different circuits. Try and work out things like what's the greatest number of bulbs you can have uh, with one battery before they don't light up. What is the largest voltage battery you could use before a circuit breaks? Uh, try and see what happens when you use different wire resistance, which is on the lab option here. Okay, You can see with different resistance and different battery resistance there as well. Okay. Um, Again, if you would prefer, okay, rather than the electrons that you can see moving around, you could go with the arrows, okay. The choice is completely up to you. You've got values there as well if you wanted to see the different numbers of volts that would happen as you went around. Again, you can see the resistance there, okay. So basically, year six, answer my questions and have a little play with this because we're going to be using some of this over the next couple of weeks. So have a little play and get used to using it, okay. And after you've had a little um, sort of investigation and play around with it, OK, make sure that you have sent me your answers for task two. So, year six, that is your sort of science lesson for today. OK, if you've got any questions, please don't forget to send me a message and I will help you. OK, um, enjoy. And I look forward to seeing your answers. Goodbye, year six.